Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy day before Thanksgiving. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I thought that I would put together my five ways you can lose weight over the holidays in the winter time. Uh, one thing that I always like to remind you guys is summer bodies are made in the winter. So now is the time to really get your fitness together. But yeah, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. That's why I have all this bad food in the background. Big marshmallow. is lemon water and you might be thinking lemon water how is that gonna help me lose weight so lemon water is something that when you go to a spa or you go to any kind of like healthy retreat they always hand you lemon water and the reason being is if you add a little lemon to your water it's naturally going to rid toxins keep you regular that's right you're gonna poop more and you're also going to be helping the bloating so a lot of times around Thanksgiving and other holidays, we're eating more, we're taking in more sugar, more bread, uh, more carbs, and all of that, it's not necessarily that we're gaining weight right away, it's that we're starting to get bloated because we're not used to the sodium intake, we're not used to all the sugar we're having, so we start to get bloated. So one of the ways you can, this is something that will work instantly, so this isn't just like, oh, you have to you know, diet, exercise, all that, that's always good to do, but this is one thing that you can combat the bloating instantly, and that's to drink lemon water every single day. What I was reading about it, it's more beneficial and the results are faster if you drink it in the morning, but feel free to drink it throughout the day. I mean, I do because sometimes I even do uh, lime in my water because I just find water super boring. Okay, so my second tip has to do with the holidays in general. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I'm going to wear an outfit similar to what I'm wearing today. I'm gonna to wear a sweater and jeans. The reason why I'm not gonna wear my big sweatshirt and big baggy sweatpants is if you're wearing clothes that fit you really loose and that you have a lot of room in, you're gonna keep stuffing your face. It mentally does something to you like, oh, I'm so tiny, I'm just gonna keep eating. But if you're in your jeans or your cute little leggings or a cute outfit that's semi-tight, you know, just form-fitting, this is a comfortable outfit, but you know what I'm saying? Wearing more form-fitting clothes keeps us aware, like, okay, you know, I'm almost at the point where I wanna unbutton my pants now, maybe I should stop eating cake. <laughs> Tip number three has to do with your perspective. Don't go into the holidays and winter time in general and say, I'm going to gain a ton of weight. It's, you know, all of these holidays, we're doing so many parties at work uh, and all sorts of stuff. Don't go into it saying, I'm going to gain a ton of weight because that's what a lot of us do. And if you scroll through Instagram right now, it's all like, I can't wait to gain 10 pounds for Thanksgiving. Oh no, gaining, going to gain weight for Thanksgiving. Uh, and holidays in general. Not necessarily. And if you go into it thinking that, it's just like the law of attraction, like I always talk about. If you say you're gonna do that, you're going to do that. I swear to you, if you go into it like, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy myself for Thanksgiving, but I'm not gonna just throw away my whole fitness journey. I'm gonna have what I want for Thanksgiving, but then tomorrow it's right back on track then that's what you're gonna do. And also start looking at some of the pros to winter break. Um, I know a lot of people will say, you know what, I'm gonna gain a ton of weight, I don't feel like going to the gym as much in the winter time, it's getting dark out, it's cold. But think about it, we have a lot of days off in the winter time, like Thanksgiving for example, then some people are off the next day on Black Friday, around Christmas time people are off, so you actually have more time to work on yourself, work on your fitness. So go into it with the positive. Go into it like, hey, I wanna walk outside and see snow, or I wanna, you know, take up tennis or something. Go into it like that, and I promise you're going to see results. I first started my fitness journey in the winter, so that's really when I started buckling down and saying, you know, I wanna be fit by summer. So start looking into workout plans or fitness plans. Winter is really a great time to get into shape. There's so many programs you can do. I have one of my own, and it's my diet plan. I count all the macros if that is something you're interested. It's affordable, easy, and I know you guys will love it. It's all yummy food not like you know weird diet food tip number four is to make Thanksgiving or any holiday your cheat day so if you follow what I do I take a cheat day every Saturday but this week I'm taking my cheat day Thursday for Thanksgiving tomorrow um, and I'm gonna I don't always do 
do this, but I'm gonna take a little mini cheat on my birthday too. I'm gonna have cake and have a nice dinner. Um, I think we're gonna still be like doing activities and stuff, so I don't think I'm gonna just be like eating all day like I would Thanksgiving. And also on that note, this is sort of like another tip with making a cheat day. Since you only wanna cheat one day a week, Give your family and friends that come over your leftovers. So keep the turkey, because you can do all fun stuff with turkey afterwards, like make turkey soup, uh, a turkey wrap, a turkey salad, So and turkey's nice and lean, so that's perfect on a diet. But the cupcakes, the brownies, the cookies, give them away, you know? Um, stop by your neighbor's house and be like, you want some cookies? You know, like, try to get it out of the house. That way, you're not just like looking at it like, I just want to get it over with. And my last tip is to do a workout Thanksgiving morning or any holiday morning and also the next day as well. I put together this quick little workout that even if you're going to be cooking and busy on Thanksgiving, you can still do this workout and burn a lot of calories, get your heart rate up. And we've talked about once you burn calories, get your heart rate up, your body starts burning fat. So you can write this little plan down. It's very simple, very quick. I go through each move or you can take a screenshot with your phone. And all of these moves burn a lot of calories because they take the most energy to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat for more tips. Um, and to check out my website if you're interested in my meal plan slash cookbook. So have an awesome day, awesome holiday, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!